A good day, viewers. My name is Amzat Monsorat, an intern medical laboratory scientist at the University of London Children's Hospital. Today, I will be introducing us to medical microbiology and parasitology, a branch of which is a branch of medical laboratory science. Medical microbiology and parasitology is a branch of uh, med medical laboratory science that deals with the study of microorganisms. Microorganisms of medical importance, like bacteria, virus, uh, fungi. Etc. We have different branch of medical microbiology. We have bacteriology, virology, mycology, and we have parasitology. We also have molecular biology and molecular genetics. Talking now about bacteriology, um, bacteriology is the study of bacteria like Staphylococcus aureus, Escherichia etc. We also have virology. Virology is the study of virus of medical importance like COVID-19, that is coronavirus, monkeypox virus, Ebola virus, etc. We also have mycology, which is the study of uh, fungi. Fungi like candida, dermatophyte, etc. Now, talking about, we also have parasitology. This entails the study of parasites of medical importance. Uh, we have like Ascaris, Dubricoides, Etinia species, etc. Now, we're talking about another branch, which is molecular biology and molecular genetics. Molecular biology is a branch of biology that deals with the study of structure and uh, stru structure and function of macromolecules like protein, uh, nucleic acid like DNA, RNA, and how these macromolecules interact within the cell. Molecular genetic is a branch under molecular biology that deals with the study of genetic variation in molecular level. We're talking about molecular biology. Um, mole molecular biology. Um, it entails the study of the omics, starting from the genomics down to the transcriptomics and down to the proteomics. Genomics is the study of genes, while transcriptomics is the study of the translation of um, the transcription of mRNA. While transcriptomics talks about the translation of protein. Now, there are various techniques that are developed under microbiology, molecular biology, which include polymerase chain reaction, ligase chain reaction, we have microarray, molecular cloning, all these helps scientists and researchers in disease diagnosis, prevention, treatment, etc. It also helps in um, vaccine production, it helps in genetic therapy, and so on and so forth. Now, let's talk, let's talk about the different indispensable tools that are used in medical microbiology. We have microscope, we have uh, stain, we have media, and we have biochemicals. Talking about microscope, microscope is an indispensable um, instrument, or let me say tool that we make use of in medical microbiology. We have different types of microscope. We have the light feed, we have the bright feed microscope, we have the dark feed microscope, we have face contrast microscope, as well as fluorescence microscope, and also the electron microscope. Now, let's talk about different kind of stains that we use in microbiology. Talking about stains, stains are like basic dye that helps to convert color into microorganisms so that we'll be able to view it more better when you, know, when you, when you view it under the microscope. Now, talking about stain, we have the natural stain and we have the synthetic stain. We have simple stain. Example of simple stain are the methylene blue, the basic fusion. We also have a differential stain like the acid is a lessen stain which helps to you know um, differentiate between acid fast bacilli and non-acid fast bacilli. We also have or let me say acid fast bacteria and non-acid fast bacteria. We also have our normal gram stain which helps to classify bacteria into gram positive and gram negative bacteria. We also have this special stain. We have a uh, special stain like the negative stain that is used for demonstration of capsule. That is the use of Indian ink. We also have another stain called silver Fontana stain, which is used for demonstration of flagellum. We also have um, malachite green stain, which is used for demonstration of spore in case of bacteria with endospore, exospore, etc. Now, let's move to another uh, uh, two. Let's talk about media. Media are like, let me say, food. Uh, we use to cultivate microorganisms inside the laboratory. We have synthetic and natural media. And media are prepared inside the media room. It helps to you know, support the growth of microorganisms for easy morphology and characterization. 
So talking about media, we have different type of media. We have the transport media. We have storage media. We have enriched media. We have enrichment media. We have the differential media as well as the selective media. Now, let me talk about the biochemicals. Biochemical is also a very important uh, tool that we make use of in microbiology. They are chemical, or let me say they are like tests that we use to, you know, speciate and characterize microorganisms inside the laboratory, okay? This is just an overview of what uh, medical microbiology and parasitology entails. So I would like us to, you know, subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you. May God bless.